Today, I'm gonna to show you the number one way to protect and maximize your Taylor guitar. If you give me just a few minutes, I'm gonna show you what it is, how to use it, we're even gonna install it together so you can do it at home. This is On The Bench with us here at Empire Music. So you've gotten yourself a new Taylor guitar. You scoured the internet, went to your local stores, and the smartest and coolest of you came to Empire Music or EmpireMusic.com to get your dream Taylor guitar. Now we have this amazing instrument, but we forget the most important thing, how to take care of it. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the Taylor Guitars Taylor Sense Guitar Health Monitoring System. We're gonna talk about what it does and how to install it. Give me the next few minutes here, and we're gonna do it together. What's amazing about Taylor Sense is it gives you humidity alerts, temperature alerts, it gives you impact alerts, and it also monitors your battery life. This allows us to have the best stage experience because we know our battery life. It lets us know that we're taking care of our guitar 24 seven, as long as you have a screwdriver, less than a hundred bucks, and 10 minutes of your time, you can put it in yourself. Let's get to work on the bench. So we're ready to install our Taylor Sense. We need a small checklist of items to properly install. What do we need? Basic Phillips head screwdriver, maybe some blue painter's tape, and our Taylor Sense. So when you open up the box of the Taylor Sense, you're gonna find it's a sealed version of this. Uh, it's gonna have the Taylor Sense itself, and it's gonna have a new battery box for you. And these are what we're gonna install, and it's gonna take the place of the current battery box compartment. Simply, we have to remove our strings first, which I've already done here for the sake of ease of time. We're gonna go inside and remove a basic clip inside of relaxing a wire, which allows for more room to remove the battery box. Then we're gonna swap the battery boxes, install a new nine volt battery, replace the clip, and restring the guitar, and we're ready to go. And we're gonna do all that right now with you. We're gonna show you how to install it step by step, and we're gonna go then through the app and show you everything that it does, which is really, really cool. So like I said, the first step here is we're gonna go ahead and remove the strings. I've just taken the strings loose here, wound them up so we can reuse them. You can certainly do this at a string change if you like. So if you're just gonna replace the strings, hey, go ahead and take them off. Um, these were brand new strings, so we don't have to do that here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach inside the sound hole of the guitar. And this clip is on the base side, right about at the base of the bridge, right? So if you're gonna draw a little line, that's where you'd find this clip. And it's a simple little 3M clip that you can see here that holds this wire in place and now that it's loose, you can see that we have more slack. So when we go down here to remove this battery box, we have the room to go ahead and extract it as well as then clip in the new battery box and put it in with the Taylor Sense. So that part's done. So now we're gonna move down here and we're gonna go ahead and uninstall the original battery compartment. Uh, first things first, there's a little clip here obviously with our nine volt battery holding the battery box. We're just gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna need it here in a minute. There are two screws holding the original system here in place. Um, we're gonna go ahead and remove this with our basic Phillips head screwdriver. Um, I prefer to use just a traditional non-powered tool here. Um, I always feel like while uh, you get faster with the power tool, Occasionally we get distracted, right? The, your phone goes off, dog barks, whatever your story might be. And in a quick instance, you can do a lot of finish damage. So for the extra two seconds it takes to just use our traditional tool, I just prefer it. I think it's a safe bet and keeps us from going off the reservation here while we're unscrewing or screwing back in our battery box. So we've got both these screws that we're going to need here in a second. We're going to set those to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and reach inside. You can see here's our old system. And guess what? It's nice and loose because if you remember, we just undid that clip to give ourselves a little bit of slack. Now here's where we have just a touch of nuance, right? As you can see, you have to remember, now obviously it's going to guide us this way in the end. When we put the new Taylor Sense in, you know, our jack goes toward the front of the guitar. If we try to put it in upside down, it won't work because the screw holes won't line up. But when we're changing it, we want to flip this upside down. And the reason being is we have this little clip here and this cable. So 
When we remove this clip, there's a little, you'll see a little place where you can depress the clip that will remove it from where it's being held into place. So if we do that, great, let's go ahead and just push that down, give it a little wiggle. There we go. Got it done. Now this is where your blue painter's tape would come into play. If you want to gather yourself, make sure you have everything you need, you're just gonna get a little piece of tape here, rip it off, and you're gonna use this to hold this in place so it doesn't fall inside the sound hole of the guitar. Because if it drops inside there, that's not so fun. We have to reach in, grab it out. Um, you can obviously do it more securely. In reality, if we take our time and we get our stuff ready, you probably won't need this to hold it in place. But nevertheless, it does give us a second to get our new Taylor Sense. And as I said earlier, you'll see a thing here. It says Blue Stream. This is blue, the original. Taylor is green, right? And that's also, if you want to know what Taylor system, you know, expression system you have, all this information's stamped on here, which is cool. But, uh, as well as your, I believe your preamp. But now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reclip this. So we're gonna hold this in place, I'm gonna get rid of my tape. And again, we're basically not putting it upside down, but we're reversing it. And all we're doing is sliding it in place, and you hear that nice little click, right? That means we're secure. And like I said, we can't put it in this way. It's not gonna work. It's upside down. So we need to just go ahead and turn it back to its original place. And there we are. Pretty exciting. I think the very first one of these I did, it might've taken me 10 minutes. You know, it's like if you've never messed with your electronics before, or if you've not like, you know, done any guitar uh, maintenance on your own before, which is totally fine, you're always better going to your local spot and having somebody that's an expert go ahead and take care of that for you. I mean, I know that we do a ton of repair here and it's like, it's always better to have an expert do it if you're not 100% sure. But this system is very, very easy to install. So you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna tighten this guy down. It's gonna see it start to suck back into place. We're gonna grab Our next screw here, flip it into place. I'll push it in there. Okay, both screws have been installed. We're gonna go ahead and take our battery. And like I said, door cell is the preferred choice from Taylor Guitars. And what's cool about their battery box is again, it's kind of user error proof, right? It, the battery only fits in one direction. We should not be forcing the battery in at all, ever. If that's your case, make sure we stop and find a different battery. I'm gonna go ahead and slip it into place. Clip. Okay, our TaylorSense battery box and compartment are installed. The last step we have to take care of is we have to reattach the wire to the clip on the inside of the guitar so it doesn't rattle around. We're just gonna go ahead and reach in here and you're going to feel that wire and again if you don't remember just a basic draw yourself a little visual line here off the end of your bridge you're going to feel that little clip you're going to take that wire place it inside the clip and just roll it right up and now you'll feel it it's nice and snug it doesn't move around you can give it a little tug and you don't have to worry about uh, that wire moving around when we're playing so now installation is complete what do we have to do we have to restrain the guitar which i'm going to do right now and then we're going to open up the app and I'm gonna show you all the ways that Taylor Sense provides you information right at your fingertips. All right, we've accomplished our task. We've installed the Taylor Sense guitar monitoring system. We've restrung our guitar, but now we're gonna run through the app and show you everything it does. What's really cool about this is you go to your um, app store, whether it be Android or Apple, um, very easy to download. You create a quick account it asks you, hey, what guitar are we trying to connect? The cool thing about this is it'll catalog all of your guitars and easily let you add guitars. Now, while you can't see four or five guitars being monitored all at once on one screen, you can quickly jump through all the guitars, which is fine because it would be kind of almost chaotic if you had multiple on there. Um, when we go ahead and we click through the um, app, the first thing it's gonna see, and you're gonna see here, we're gonna have right next to me, is 
what guitar are we going to do? So you can name your guitars. Now, if you have multiple guitars, you would go ahead and name them probably by model or however you want to identify them. The generic answer is my guitar. That's how I left mine. You can turn your Bluetooth on, click over, and our first screen is humidity. Now, I will tell you, we do hundreds of repairs a month here at Empire. And I'd probably say 70% of them would be eliminated or mitigated and how severe they are if we properly humidified our guitar. That's why the Taylor Sense is the number one way to protect your guitar because it gives us the information to make smart decisions. Uh, good humidity is 40 to 60%. Right now we are at a healthy 54%, which is excellent. Um, we should always store our guitar in an environment where the humidity is controlled. Ideally a case with like Deodario humidity packs or something along those lines if they're necessary. But this information will give us the, the deal. If we hit the details button here, it will give us our average of 72 hours. Now, I just installed this, so there's not a ton going on here, right? It's just like a little bit of time. We've gone from 56% to 54% to 55%. There's hourly, there's daily, which will obviously populate um, more thoroughly as we have it installed for more days and then our monthly averages. And what's important about that is understanding that humidity, um, not enough humidity, causes the guitar often to shrink the wood, which first will give us maybe some dry, rough frets, but then that's what causes your cracking, right? The other end of the spectrum is we have too much humidity and the wood expands, our glue joints get soft, it creates a lot of long-term problem. Think about your, the top of your guitar, the wood of your guitar. I always say it's like skin, right? If you all of a sudden gained 500 pounds overnight and then lost 500 pounds the next day, your skin isn't the same elasticity as it was before, right? Same thing here. By keeping this stable, it keeps the entire guitar stable. It's really, really important. Um, this is easy. It takes you two seconds. And the cool thing is you get alerts if your guitar drops below the proper humidity levels or goes beyond the recommended humidity levels, Taylor will give you an alert. You'll get a notification, a push notification. Hey, your guitar needs to be humidified. Your guitar needs less humidity based on the region you're in. Um, super important. And the cool thing is if you're monitoring it with like a humidity pack system, you get into the winter season, your heat's on at home if you're in a place that that's relevant, um, or you go through a dry season wherever you live, this is going to help you get that first notification. Hey, go solve this. If you jump on top of it, you're going to be in good shape. Uh, the next thing that they talk about is temperature. Um, this is an underrated part of the system. We always talk about humidity and we make a big deal out of it. Um, I hear from people, I'm in all the guitar forums, like all of you probably, right? And everyone says, I have a 1952 something or other and I never humidified. And it's, of course, perfect. Um, what I will tell you is that isn't true. I mean, it's just like the, the likelihood of an instrument like that being excellent is compared to how it was originally built is, is very, very slim. The reality of it is that um, we have to stay on top of this and that's why these tools exist. Temperature is really interesting because the main thing we see in the summer months are people leave their guitars in cars, right? They take them, they go out, and they leave it, they're going to a friend's to play, they're going to their guitar lesson, they're gonna to go to the pool first, and it's 100 degrees outside, and then their guitar, when they open it up, looks like a balloon. It is just a hot mess. The bridge can easily pull, shift, your glue joints come undone. It's really, really bad. So you're gonna get multiple notifications if you exceed recommended temperatures or are below recommended temperatures to let you know, like, hey, this isn't good, your guitar is gonna suffer for uh, the fact that it's in this current environment. The great thing about this is it allows us to kind of get reminded, we're so busy and I'll tell you, I know if you're like me, you're on your phone a lot. So this flashing across my phone saying, hey, Joe, like your guitar is at 38% humidity. Oh, I'm like, my humidity packs must be dead. I'm gonna go buy some today. You know, it, it just keeps it top of mind. Um, you can hit view alerts and here I have no incidents. It has a 14 day incident history, which will, um, this will tell you the date and what happened. So it catalogs it for you. Um, it also helps, and you're gonna see why this cataloging idea is really smart from Taylor um, in a second. 
it helps you kind of place where and when. So maybe you can stop that from reoccurring. Um, the next feature here is the low battery alert. This thing will alert you at 30% and 10%. Now, if you are at um, a point where you're going on stage, you do worship, you're in a cover band, you do duo stuff, solo stuff, you write your own music, whatever your story might be, you're a touring artist. Going on stage with a dead battery is like a catastrophic mess. <laughs> you don't ever wanna be in that situation. So 30% and 10%, as you see when you come to the app here, it tells you, hey, there's Rob McGargle, a friend of mine from Taylor Guitars, head of service. Um, they tell you about the battery alerts, how to change them, what you can expect at 30%, what you can expect at 10%. Um, this is always kind of like the great unknown because there's not a real easy way outside of like buying a separate battery test or lugging an extra piece of thing in your bag where you go testing your batteries, hoping that's accurate, getting on stage. So um, a good way to cover yourself top to bottom. And this comes down to the maximizing idea. We always talk about our setup process here. When you buy a guitar from us, we do a full deep dive setup um, to factory spec to make sure this instrument is maximized. You gotta make sure that your electronics are ready to go when you need them. So that's a simple way to ensure that that occurs. And then lastly, the impact details. Do you travel? Do you lend your guitars to friends? Do you have kids, pets? Pets that are kids, kids that are pets. Uh, this is to me the uh, one that I think is people are gonna find most interesting. If you ever travel, you fly with a guitar. We've all seen the videos online of people who check their guitar and what happens to it, right? It timestamps all of our problems. So if your good friend Billy borrowed your guitar and it got smacked around, there's gonna be a report here and it's gonna tell you the amount of impact it took and when. Um, this helps us for two reasons. It lets us know when it happened and it also kind of gives you a good bit of insight into where we're leaving our guitar and maybe it's just a bad spot that just happens to be a bad place for it to be and we can get it out of there it keeps us in the loop totally on the guitar that we have in front of us um, you know we're always really proud to sell taylor guitars and this is the insurance before you drive it off the lot right you can't buy a guitar without a car a guitar you can buy a guitar without insurance you can't buy a car without insurance and just drive it away um, in this instance, it's very easy. Again, we install it here for you free of charge in terms of the labor part. It's under $100 to buy the Taylor since, since uh, at the time of this filming. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be the, that way for a while. Um, it's currently $79. Um, we'll install it for free. If you can get these anywhere, get it on your, you know, from your local guitar shop, online at their shops, whatever, your chain store, whatever. The most important store here is to get it. Um, we want to make sure that you have the best experience with your Taylor guitar. So part of our guiding you through the process of making sure you have great experience is making sure that once you select the dream guitar, then we protect our dream guitar. It's really, really important. So I'm Joe from Empire Music, empiremusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is On the Bench with us here at Empire. Today, we explored the Taylor Sense guitar monitoring system that works on most Taylor guitars, all with a nine volt battery compartment. We talked about the fact that it has humidity alerts, temperature alerts, battery life alerts, and impact alerts. We went through the full installation process from the starting point of taking off our strings, all the way to loosening the wires, reinstalling the correct new Taylor Sense battery compartment, doing it accurately, putting it all back together and using our wrap. If you have any questions about anything Taylor guitars, or anything guitar related. We are your spot here at Empire. Check out empiremusic.com. Feel free to call 412-343-5299. Email us, my email is just joe, J-O-E, at Empire Music. You can follow us on YouTube for more information. Subscribe to our channel, please. We are your Taylor Guitars online preferred dealer, one of only about 20 in North America. I'm Joe from Empire Music. This is how we install the Taylor Sense guitar monitoring system, the number one way to protect your Taylor guitar right here on the bench with Empire Music. Thanks for watching.